الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولو الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and Abdukul Ajis al Daif, O Miskeen, O Zalim, O Jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us to reach to the night of Jummah, to be dressed by the realities of Jummah, the lights of Holy Jummah. And that Allah led us to pray the day of Jummah, to be washed and cleansed and to be purified. Alhamdulillah that we, we've covered binary code and all these realities for so many weeks now, two, three weeks now, alhamdulillah. And before we go to question and answers, somebody had emailed the account talking about their condition of their mind is not well and they want to harm themselves. And these things are, are serious mental issues in which the tariqah doesn't get involved. That the shaykh is here for spiritual teaching and for spiritual practices and we describe many times, so we'll say one more time, is that the body, mind and soul have to be functioning. Means that the, the mind of the individual has to be functioning. The, the body of the individual has to be functioning and the soul of the individual has to be in a condition in which it wants to improve. If any one of them are off then the system doesn't work. If the mind is not functioning there's no spirituality because it will oppress the body and the spirituality. And anything you begin to try to teach when the mind is not working, whatever you say is not going into the heart, into the understanding. And the mind of the individual can be playing with all the words and misinforming the individual of the meaning of the words. So we can imagine that spirituality when a mind is not present is impossible to achieve. If the person has a physical ailment and they don't seek medical attention and they think they'll just sit and receive spiritual healing. It can't because the physicality is being oppressed and as a result of the physicality not being in the correct condition it imposes an oppression upon the mind and the soul. So it means that these are uh, what we call holistic system of three prongs that the mind has to be correct and if medicine is necessary they seek medical advice, they get their medicine, their neurotransmitters are functioning and then as the shaykhs are teaching and talking the individual is understanding and applying. If they have a physical ailment they go to the physician, they get medicines, they get everything necessary and everybody has some sort of crutch in which Allah gives to them a difficulty, a condition in which for them to practice with. Nothing is perfected and perfect. Allah changes the conditions and, and makes everybody's condition to have something so that they have a weakness and that they're in need of Allah and they apply their spiritual practices. As soon as somebody begins to email that they want to harm themselves and the tariqah, the door shuts off that immediately seek medical advice and will no longer be communicating. It's not, a, it's not a place for the tariqah or for the shaykhs to enter in and, and to have some sort of responsibility on somebody trying to hurt themselves or threatening to hurt themselves and that, that's no longer some uh, student that is a, a viable candidate for spiritual practices. So that we have to know that when you start emailing like that everything shuts, we're no longer associated, we're no longer dealing with that and then immediately seek medical advice and, and your condition is, is no longer spiritual, you need medical sort of practitioners inshaAllah. Just a reminder for myself that when people email like that, yeah, it's not you're going to shut the door. So don't, don't do things like that inshaAllah and seek medical attention whether you have physical difficulties, mental difficulties and definitely spiritual difficulties, inshaAllah. <laughs>